Hi, it's Coach Ben here from Essex Cricket, Community Coaching and uh, Chance to Shine. We also work in partnership with local organisations such as Changing Lives, which we've been doing a lot of work this week, delivering essential goods to families that are in need. But for, for this one, what we're going to be doing is a short circuit exercise uh, to work on different aspects of cricket. Bowling, fielding, wicket keeping and batting. So the four areas we're going to cover, I'm not going to talk for too much longer, let's just get into this. So the first thing we're going to do is the spin challenge. I have my cricket back there and we're just going to use our bowling grip which is a, a bit of a claw grip either side of the seam and we're just going to try and get the ball bounce it and spin it back so it bounces on the other side got it there you go it took me four attempts to do it so after we've done the spin check the spin challenge what we're going to do is look to get the stick up our bat and do some forward drives either side of our stumps in front of us. So just one coaching point, let's try and keep the full face of the bat facing towards the target and striking it into our nets. So I've got four balls, all I need to do is get one either side and that is mission complete. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Next activity in our circuit, we're moving on to the wicket keeping. Now, just one coaching point for us here. I want us to crouch down in a wicket keeping position. My hands ready to take the catch and springing. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw the ball at the rebound net. If you've got a pair of net, you can use the rebound net. But we're just gonna stay in our wicket keep position and try to catch the ball and make the stumps, hit the stumps once we've done it. So if the ball does fly up this side, let's just shuffle across, keep our hands there and just move our hands to where the ball is. Remember, big surface hand for catching, okay? Touching pinkies, cross them if you need to, just so we've got a big hand, big open space for us to, the ball to land in. So here we go. Wide. Now, if you do have luck enough to have a rebound net or a wall, what we can do as our field in, what we're going to do is use the flick of our wrist to throw the ball and try and hit the stumps coming back. Oh, he's got it. How's that? Now the last activity to finish our circuit is we're going to be aiming at the stumps for when the batters are running in between the wickets and see if we can hit the stumps. Now, a key coaching point for us um, studying the game is if we can throw the ball so it bounces at the bottom of the stumps, and that'd be a bit more, give us a bit more chance for us to take it a hit. So aim at the bottom of the stumps. Now let's see how many times it takes us to knock down this wicket. Two high ones. And there's the low one. That's why we aim at the bottom of the stumps. Okay, so we've been through the four different aspects of this activity. Now let's try and put this circuit into action. Let's see how long it takes Coach Ben to knock down and do what he's got to do. Here we go, we'll start with a spin. Ball. 
Now we'll go for the wicket keeping. Let's try and hit the stumps. Oh, that's close. New ball. Orange rod worked for me last time. Yes, get in there. Okay. The fielding. Throwing at the stumps. Aim at a low part. Boom. First time. Picks up the bat. It's got one minute seven. Can he do it with two? Compose. Oh, nailed it. Oh, nearly off the fence. Boom town. One minute, 32 seconds. Now, I'm not the most fantastic player, but I give it my best shot. And you wait to see the spin bowling drills. So I'm a left hand off spinner. Wait for them tutorials to come up. So just to finish on, if you have not got all the equipment, then we can use uh, improvise to use different things such as bins as our wicket and you make the rest up okay so stay safe stay home and cricket will come home